Welcome back to Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. I apologize for the delay. Unfortunately, a lot of things came up in real life. I know I've been saying that quite a bit. But, if I get everything taken care of with this, then starting this summer I'll be able to start bringing you a lot more videos a lot more often. As soon as this fire guy gets out of my way. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could just whip those. So we've already seen most of what the castle has to offer, at least the upper parts. So now let's check out the uh, underground reservoirs. Ow. Okay, yeah, it's been a little bit since I played this. Uh, oh yes, um, solidify right in front of the enemy, why don't you? Brilliant idea, Julius. Brilliant idea. Sorry, Triton, but you just can't carry a tune. Here we have fish heads, a, well, fishy version of the bone pillars you normally see in Castlevania games. That area is a dead end, but let's see here. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like Julius has one of the shortest whips of the Belmonts. But, like I said, maybe it's, maybe it's just me and just what it looks like to me. Quit trapping yourself up against the enemy, Julius. Okay, we're already down to half health. That This is not looking good for our adventure so far. Anybody want some sea urchin? I've heard it's really good eating. There's one area in particular I want to see if I can get to. I don't know if you can as Julius, but I'd really like to find out. Ow. Okay, that, that's a rotten thing to do, putting one of these guys on here. I thought there was something there, but I guess not. Finally, a Belmont who is not afraid of the water. For a long time, it seemed that if you're a Belmont, water was your biggest enemy. Forget about Dracula, water. So let's see here. Go through here. And this opens back up to... Ah, yes, I remember this area. And, yes, yeah, since, since uh, we're here, I'm going to go ahead and heal up real fast. So like I said, i am gotten a little bit out of practice in this game, and um, it, it kind of shows. I'm, I'm not afraid to admit it. Save this game. Not yet. We're only about five minutes into the video, people. Okay. 
But anyways, so I was talking about some uh, real life stuff. Basically, I've been really busy with work. I got a, a bit of a promotion there. Yay, go me. And I've also kind of uh, been hunting for a new apartment. Right now, I've uh, got three really cool roommates, but our lease is coming up the end of, uh, Ju of July, and we're all looking at uh, separating, breaking our little fellowship, if you will. And I found this really nice little place that if I can get it, then it's right by my work, which, well, so is this place, but it, it's got a really nice setup, and if I can get the place, then whenever I'm not working, it'll give me a lot more chance to be able to make videos for you guys, and oh, I, I, I just love how imps are able to do that, just latch onto you and make you spaz out like that. Let's see, check the map. Okay, so I still have the uh, upper corner there to explore. But I actually do have a lot of uh, video ideas planned out that I won't tell you about them now. It'll spoil a surprise, but hopefully they're ones that you'll like when the time comes and. Good God, will you just die already? Whoa. Yep. Thankfully, a lot of these enemies, like the golems, they're really easy to cheese with uh, Julius's little teleport move right there. Shows what I know. So let's see, here's over there. Maybe, but first I want to check this area out first. Incidentally, I always thought Triton was just one guy. Why are there so many of them here? Okay, so can't really do anything there at the moment. There's this little spot here, but we'll end up getting there from underneath. Okay. Slimes. Be thankful that Julius can't be poisoned because if he could, those slimes will ruin your day. There was something up here, but eh, guess not. Going down. Boneheads, fish fries, and sea urchin soup. Aisle one. Julius Belmont's The Battle of the... Oh! Where did you come from? Didn't I just kill you? Triton versus Julius Belmont, The Battle of the Beards. So, let's see here. Now we're going this way. Uh, switch out to... 
I think Holy Water should work quite nicely here. And yes, very nicely indeed. Okay. And again, nothing over there. So let's see what's over this way. Trust me to find the spikes. My bad luck from my Strider playthrough continues today. So let's see here. And again, nothing down here. Or... Okay, I spoke too soon. Hidden passageway, and then nothing down here. So I guess that just leaves us with one more passage to take in this room. No, I'm not running into the spike again. I already did that. Going down. Okay, a little check to get my bearings here. So I need to go back up, go da, 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 down there. Okay. Julius Belmont, the only one not afraid to Shoryuken a giant sea urchin. Thormuth Eisen, the only gamer not afraid to admit he's getting lost in this area. Okay, I was really hoping he was just going to slide right past me there. I, I should have known I wouldn't be that lucky. But I am lucky enough to catch a face full of flame right there. Don't mind me, just passing through. So, let's see here. Ow. Okay, so it's back over this way. Ew. Oh, right, yeah, I still had that little bit farther to go. Yeah, confession time. I do not have the world's greatest sense of direction. You can even just ask any of my friends in the car with me. I will get you where you're going, but not necessarily the way you expect to get there. Okay, I don't even know how that works. I keep having to tell myself, Julius does not control the same way as Soma. Oh no, not 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 you. Confounded imps. Not even Julius Belmont can make his way past a waterfall. taking chances landing on that guy. Even though Julius can't be poisoned, that would still hurt. 
Yeah, just like that. Hey, you're not the only one who can drop bombs, dude. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Fish out of water and all that. Don't worry, I'll put you out of your misery, though. Why? I, I, I just don't get why, why. Why would you put a fish upside down like this? It's, it's just, that's just ridiculous. Okay, anybody bring a, a lawnmower around here? save room. Nice place to recharge my health. I am so glad to see that. And let's see. Yeah, you saw that big that flash that just went by, right? That is a skyfish. We could try killing it, but unfortunately we don't happen to have a stopwatch. Yeah, with all these sub-weapons, we don't have the daggers or the stopwatches. Again, why? I don't know. I have no trust in walls. I must whip every flat wall I see. see is over here to the right. scary, you're just gross. Okay, so I guess it's not over here. I guess we gotta go up back at the other room. Now, no, that, that guy I knew about, but I forgot that he was there. And let's see here. Yep, that's where I came in there. And the handy dandy warp room. Always nice to know where those are at. Okay, so you have to, oh, I don't know, warp somewhere that happens to have a save point by it. No, lady, I'm not feeling like any apples today, especially not ones that are going to drain my health. In this case, an apple a day does not keep the doctor away. So this is the area I wanted to get to before. Ok, 
Okay, so you can get over there. Good to know. And how I did that was I just kept holding right while I kept doing the uh, L button, and it actually gets us through here. Now we can properly explore the forbidden area. Oh. I should have remembered him. Weird Jaguar. What is a vertical climb without some annoying enemies? Now if we jump on this switch, and we go through here, it'll bring us right back over to the... right back over to the study. Perfect time to restore my health. much weaker than those fish heads. Okay, get back down here. There. It was getting personal. One thing I'm sure a lot harpies, of course. You know, I, I, I would love to know the story of how this ship got here. For that matter, I'd love to know the story of why this area is called the Forbidden Area. Not how I'd plan to take out that killer fish, but eh, I'll take it. Hello. Yeah, if we were playing normal story mode, we would find the uh, Claim Soleil Sword here. It's the most powerful weapon in the game. I've often, I have wondered though, if the fact that that's stashed here, if that's why it's called the Forbidden Area, because Whoever the bad guy is, whether it be Dracula, Graham, whoever, doesn't want you to go here. Ow. After having just killed, you think I would remember these guys? But no, apparently I am a slow learner when it comes to the ways of the mud man. That I will admit I forgot about, but...
I would love to know who decided to arm the flea men with knives. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I thought that money bag looked a little too tempting, especially with the uh, big skull face right up here. That 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 never means anything good, especially not for me. So we filled in this little area. That was the forbidden area. Um, yeah, Thor. How about less talking, more kicking demons' asses, and not getting balls of mud thrown at me. Right there. Ha. Yes. <laughs> Taking down all those mud men, and then I forget about that one. Right smack into him. And get a face full of fire. Okay, Cognazzo is very weak to axe. Good to know. I may have to axe him about that sometime. I would love to know just why this ship is here. swing back over to that save point again. some dry flooring. I just feel like I'm racing the arrow at that point. Alright, so we've seen the Forbidden Area, which I now know that you can get to as Julius. There's not a lot there, but you can get to it. If, you, if you'll notice, you'll see the ground by that little skeleton there is slightly raised up. That's a good way to know the mud men are right there. So now we leave the forbidden area behind. And apparently getting out of there is easier than getting in. And we came over here earlier. Here's where that last little area was that we couldn't get to before. 
I sure wish we could have, we could have the gun from here. But I guess Soma's already taken it. Curse him! Nah, I can't really curse him. He's the good guy. No thanks, Julius is not an Apple fan. Music, didn't I? Did I miss a spot over there? I, I, yeah, I, I must have, I remember. Okay, right here. Which just brings you a flesh golem. But I don't really think there's anything behind him. Nope. So I'm not really going to worry about fighting him right now. Doesn't really do me any good. Skyfish. But unfortunately, since we have no stopwatch, we can't do anything about them. So for now, we let the skyfishes fly. I guess just hang my whip there and let the poison worm run right into it. Now here we've got a choice of two different areas. We can either go to the left, which takes us to the arena and pain, or we can make our way down here. Passageway, which again has Bubkus for us. Make our way to the underground cemetery. Oh yes, I I I I forgot about you. Okay, this place just took a turn for the uh, weird and disturbing. Hey buddy, where are you going? Hello? Hey, it's rude to ignore me. Hey, where's Barty? Well, before we find out what's over there, let's see what's on this upper level. Well, this must be some party they're heading to. Perhaps a dead man's party? And if you get that reference, bravo. <laughs> uh, save room. 
Now, I actually do think this is a really good place to end our video, because, spoilers, we have a boss fight coming up. Who is it? Well, let's just say it'll be somebody very familiar to Castlevania fans. So, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'll try to finish it up a lot, um, to put out videos a lot more often. Again, sorry about that. Real life and all that. But, for now, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.